Hello everybody, welcome back to Dead in Bermuda. We're on day three, we're in the AM. And let's see, what do we want to do today? We did discover two new areas. Uh, let's go explore those, shall we? A moist suitcase. Okay, we'll inspect that. You find a suitcase, earn the belonging from your plane crash. Does the belonging didn't survive? Does it matter anymore? Good point. Okay, who should we have to search it? Bob did pretty well. Hmm. She has incredibly high stealth, but her scavenging skills are awful. So we want someone with uh, right in the middle. So her stealth is on 27, 33. Uh, we'll have Winters go ahead and search that. Though maybe we shouldn't have the doctor search it. Crap, she failed. Monster attack. Oh god, what the hell was that thing? <sighs> Why did I have the doctor do it? Hey, at least she found some painkillers. Something at least. Okay, let's go explore that other area as well. Machete. Sweet! Found a machete. That's easy, at least we don't have to risk anyone getting attacked by some sort of horrible monster. Okay. Alejandro and Julia, you could do something. These guys... Ah, she's not bad. Okay, Yuri and Jacob. Uh, we're gonna take them back to the fire. Just have them hang out and wait for a bit. Even though I, I don't think they like each other. No, it's Alice that doesn't like Yuri. Jacob might be fine with him. Alejandro, we're gonna go have you explore with Alice. And should we bring um, Julia with us? Let's see, what's her... Wait, what is her... Oh, fatigue's... Okay, I thought her fatigue was 39. That's her discussion. Okay, so does, does discussion... Relationships with Jacob are okay. Hmm. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, not use item. Let's see. Skills, eh? Okay, so she has 11 skill points. Okay. Her constitution. Man, there's so much going into this. Okay, stealth is good. Crafting is good. Exploration, scavenge. And her medicine's already high. Okay, well, I guess we'll just increase that a little bit more. Yeah, that's good. Well, I think they should be good where they are. I want them to finish. Yeah. Okay, we should be good. Sorry, I'm just thinking to myself. Alright, scavenge the plane. Because they should be able to finish that sleeping thing now. Now. God, I can't talk today. I'm having to drink so much water. I got really bad dry mouth. There we go. Achievement unlocked. Nice. Snores and alarm. We finished the crafting recipe for sleeping area. That will definitely help. We'll arrange a place to have a bit of shade during the daytime so that the most fatigued of our group can take a nap. You can now assign up three characters to take a nap action, lowering their fatigue. Awesome. Previously, I thought we could only lower the fatigue by resting overnight as well as um, being by the campfire and discussing sleeping area out at the camp. Nice. Ooh. Looks cool. Nice strength up, level two. Ooh, damn, their fatigue is really okay. They're definitely gonna take a nap. Ah, the relationship took a bit of a hit there. All right, their depression's going down as well as their fatigue by a little bit. And the relationship healed, nice, or increased. Okay, new area discovered. Her constitution is up, as well as all their fatigue, and the relationship probably got hurt. The relationship increased, nice. Julia, you actually had a positive influence on someone for the first time in your measly boring existence. God, I hate her so much. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> let's head back over here. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and have them. Um, let's see, can we, or do we have to drag them over there? Okay, you two girls, you deserve to take a nap in your rest area. They've done pretty damn well, in my opinion. Bam. Uh, Bob, how you doing? Bob, you deserve a nap too. You, you search the plane. These depressions. Okay, Yuri. You're a KGB agent, aren't you? Or something like that. Let's have you go there. And Jacob. Let's go ahead and have you just research by yourself. Oh, okay. Uh, some characters still have undistributed skill points. Okay, oops, I'll check that. Lana. 
Okay, she could probably use increase in fighting just for self-defense. This place is dangerous. A little strength. Um, let's have her. Let's have her focus on medicine, so she can kind of be like a backup to um, what's her name? Winters. Okay, and let's proceed to nighttime and see what they're up to discussing. Wood, rope, meal, barely edible stuff, notebook. Constitution. I'll have to check what Constitution is. <laughs> he just looks like a crazy person. Okay, fatigue. Okay. Well, so Ileana it really didn't do much for her. She's still pretty fatigued. New area discovered. And the relationship got hurt. Of course it did. Julia. So Julia, you come from Russia, right? What do you do for a living up there? That's none of your business. It doesn't matter anyone anymore. Wow, it was just a simple question. It's important that we know a, a bit about everyone in the group. We can trust each other. Or maybe we shouldn't. Why? Do you know something? Do you think the crash was provoked by someone here? Everything is possible. <laughs> Even that you did it. Oh my god, Alice crashed the plane. Somehow she made the engine explode. How dare you? Touchy subject. Heh, you didn't do it, but calm yourself down. It sure looks like it when you get angry so quick. Ellipses. Hmm. Julia, no one's gonna like you, and you're gonna cause problems, and they're gonna eat you. That's what's gonna happen. I keep thinking that's the computer from 2001 Space Odyssey. <laughs> Just staring at me into my soul. Hey, okay, hunger's gone up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do I have to feed them? That's what I want to know. Oh, we have these. Okay, so we got eights. Barely edible. Hopefully these don't make him sick or something. But may as well use these. Okay, anyone got anything over 20%? She's 21%. Uh, so we'll give her... Uh, what's this? Regular meal? Very tasty. I forgot the exact names of them. Okay. Okay. 90% everything else everyone else should be good. Let's go on and move on. Okay effects fire intensity is down 22% damn it forgot to feed the fire. Okay. We'll do that now Water supply minus eight uh, da -da -da -da, Very tired. Okay, Ileana and Jacob very tired Okay, so we'll definitely let them rest today Um, Their fatigue's pretty high his depression's relatively high how you guys doing? Um, they could probably go explore once more. Yuri. Should be good. Jacob. Okay, we'll have Jacob rest. And... Earth takes 36 to 37. Okay. We'll kind of take it easy today, guys. Uh, we don't need to search the plane right now. Kind of let some people nap. Alejandro and Alice. All right. And actually, let's go check out this new area. Whoa! Oh, jeez, what? <laughs> okay, talk to the crazy old geezer. All right, so this where did this come from? A strange old fellow is sitting right there in front of you in a meditative stance. He seems to be alive as a rock. He doesn't seem to have noticed you, or he doesn't care. You notice his pale blue skin and charred long beard. He can't shake the idea of a defrosted... Crazy Santa. How do we know he's crazy? He hasn't actually done anything to bother us yet. Alright. Um. Let's talk to him? So, what's like the... <laughs> okay. Alright, that's probably high discussion, right? Definitely don't want Jacob. Alejandro is very chas charismatic. Okay, Alejandro, we've kind of assumed the role of the leader here. A human being, so we're not alone on this damned island. With great expectations, you try to speak to the geezer. You even scream at him, but nothing will do. He won't even budge a charred finger. With your eye hopes torn to pieces, you leave him behind. Thinking about what we will say to your comrades when the guy starts muttering a litany of random gibberish words. So we can either try to communicate, wait, or hit him on the head. 
Oh, okay, I I don't want to hit him on the head. So we're gonna 64% chance of discussion. Come on, fingers crossed. Damn it! We try to isolate some of the words, repeating them in front of him. But you already have a you have a really hard time uttering them. The sound of some of them coming out totally wrong. You don't know if it's a disappointment of failing a task or if some words you pronounce turn him into black magic curse. But you feel deeply depressed after that attempt. Damn it! Okay, it's so Alejandro not feeling well. He's depressed. Oh, only 19. I thought it would be like 50% or something crazy like that. Uh, can we search him? Okay, Jacob seems to be a good middle ground. Self check. Success! The old guy has scavenged rusty antennas and steel pikes, but they won't budge. Behind him, you find some bottles of translucent, or translucent liquid. You said take them. He does not react. Okay, so we got his. Translucent liquid, liquid. Healing water, apparently. So I guess we can come back and try and talk to him some other time. Uh, let's go explore this area. Lost backpack. Okay. Her scavenge is only 15, but her stealth is pretty good. Alright, we'll send Julia. So let's check success. Yeah, we searched backpack for some useful. It was like ginseng juice, binoculars, nice. There's something in there that I missed. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and f check the fire intensity, 49%. There we go. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and uh, wait for the next day. All the depression goes down a bit. Fatigue, not much. Okay, Jacob will definitely need a nap soon. Fatigue down. How will the relationship go down by napping? Explain this to me. Plus one exploration. New area discovered, nice. Plus one constitution. And the relationship increased. Okay. Um, should we go talk to the old geezer again? Let's see what's here. Oh, yeah, that wooden crate. No, I don't want to do that. Let's go talk to the geezer. Okay, discussion 49. Discussion 44, 38. Oh, yeah, we'll send Ileana. Ilana. Okay. Come on, it's only 49%. Yes! Okay, after a while. Ooh, I'm excited. After a while trying to understand a single word coming from his mouth, you start to grasp a mean to enter into communication with him. You sit next to him in the same position and close your eyes. You try to make uh, one with river of the words. They are now gently flowing into your head one by one, caressing your mind. Like possessed by a higher force, you dive into a sea of words in your mind. Reach the bottom and pick up three shells. On the shell- <laughs> What is going on in this game? On the shells you see three words written in blood. In an unknown language, yet you understand them. You get out of the hypnotic trance with the words "the prophecy," "find," and "love" dancing in your head. What? What is going on in this game, guys? This is freaking me out. I thought it was just island survival, but I guess I should have assumed that'd be something a little more supernatural and whatnot with the whole Bermuda setting. Okay, Elena's intelligence has increased, her knowledge has increased, and her depression decreased. Okay, old geezer. I like I like uh, I like what you're doing. Continue to explore around, find clues about a prophecy. Nice. Okay, let's go check out this area. There's an X drawn on the ground. Big X on the ground. Your power instincts tells you there should be something buried there, or is it a trap? Okay, let's see who's got a good stealth these days. Me and Jacob. Uh, you can take a little bit more fatigue. Still check 52% success. You dig a hole with your bare hands for a while. When you reach a small wooden box, you open it hastily, expecting jewels. You found something even more valuable: a full set of beautiful dried sausage, perfectly preserved. <gasps> I love sausages. Oh wow! Okay, he needs to nap. Okay. Hopefully, the Skype things aren't popping up. Fire can't or campfire is doing good. Okay, fatigue. K 
Okay. Let's put him there. That should help his depression. We'll put Jacob over here. Uh, her fatigue's good. Uh, let's see how their fatigue's doing. Alejandro, how are you doing? 31%, 32%. They're probably good to keep exploring. Bob is pretty depressed. Uh, Julian Winters, let's have you guys research. There you go. Okay, well, let's, let's just go. Research increase, it's gonna increase their fatigue and probably hurt the relationship. Wow, didn't see that coming. Depression down, nice. This one discussion, Yuri reached level two. Okay, so they're in the green. He's got a strong metabolism. Sickness increases slower. Okay, so there is sickness in the game. The bane of my existence from 60 seconds made it into this game. Fantastic. Or not fantastic. Fatigue down. Fatigue down. Relationship up. I thought their fatigue would go down a little more. Napping. It really hasn't. Okay, now for another nightly discussion. Who is this crazy dude with antennas? Finding another human being on the island so soon? Talk about luck. Was he even alive though? I didn't dare touch him and take his pulse. There was a strange aura around him. It didn't feel very safe. He seemed to be in some sort of meditation now. Dead or alive, he didn't help much. I'd, I'd say completely useless. If you let me do my way, I'd ha I'll have him talk for sure. It's not your cozy, sheltered reality anymore. You must realize that now. What was it he was mumbling about? We clearly all understood the words find love and prophecy. It may be a clue to something. Pfft. It's not your dumb fantasy books. It's reality here. You'll need thing in lulls. <laughs> Sorry, I can't do a Russian accent. The one thing we know is that we know nothing and there's a high flight of human wisdom. That could be our only hope still. Let's keep searching the area and check on anything that could tie us to these words. Okay. It looks like everyone's depression decreased. Ileana does not like Jacob and Jacob's like, what? But I thought that's weird. Okay, hunger's gone up. Uh, let's go ahead and feed them. Let's see, who's got the lowest? Okay, she can go down a little bit. Let's keep everyone below 20%. 25%. Let's keep them below 25%. I'm going to make that my goal. Maybe 27%. Oh, damn it. Yuri, you fat son of a bitch. Okay. Okay, 20 to 30%. Let's see who's got the highest. 38% there. 37, Alejandro. Okay, we were running out of food, guys. This ain't good. Jacob, so we're gonna have to scavenge the plane because that's where we've been getting most of our food from. Okay, everyone's back in the green below 25%, which is actually the threshold for that. Nice. Fire intensity down, water supply with only 30 remaining. Okay, Alejandro is very tired. He's the only one who's very tired though. Oh no, Jacob too. So Jacob and Alejandro are very tired. They could probably use a nap or two. Uh, Yuri, did you um... Okay, Yuri's back up. Uh, I'm gonna have him scavenge the plane, so let's increase his scavenge skills. And... His agility, why not? That seems like something worth doing. Okay, new air discovered. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yuri, let's have you go ahead and scavenge the plane. Uh, Bob, you're, you're not doing much. I don't... Okay, Bob, let's have you explore. Why not? Alright, their fatigue's pretty high. Uh, let's have Ileana go ahead and explore. Take a nap. Okay. Uh, let's go on to day five. Let's see what are we gonna spend the morning doing. Ruid, rope, one meal, eh. Three barely edible stuff. Okay, fresh meat. Scientific magazine. Oh, I forgot I had the dried sausages. I could use those as well. Research, okay. We need some tools to help us gather resources in the jungle. Since resources we can scavenge the plane, crash are not infinite. New craft and recipe gathering tools. Okay. Well, so we might move them over and have them start crafting. 
Dig down. Nice, nice, nice. And relationship increased. I think Napu would help with their depression. They're probably not going to find much. They don't have really high exploring skills. And the relationship was hurt. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Okay, well, let's see what we got here. Shipwreck. Okay, you see the mass of an old sunken ship emerging from the water. Another wreckage. There's something with this island. Mm. Let's see. Alejandro. Alright, we're gonna send Alejandro. His stealth isn't great, but it was 39%. Uh, it takes a while and many times you get hurt by nasty hagfish. Okay, so he's probably gonna get injured. Just a little bit. Bottles of rum! Sweet! <laughs> Uh, let's scavenge resources. Uh, let's get someone with a high stealth. Uh, let's go ahead and send Jacob. So check. Come on, success. Okay, he's gonna get injured too. Let's see uh, what supplies we can scavenge. Got some wood, rope. That's eh, all right. All right, but that's probably it for this episode of Dead and Bermuda, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Want to see more in the future? And I'll see you next time. Thank you all so much for watching, and a quick shout out to my patrons, Click, Burt Macklin FBI, The New Warden, D-Pay, and Tiny Pirate. Thank you guys so much for your support, and if anyone else is interested in supporting the channel, you can visit patreon.com slash ctop. Thanks for watching.